only and only so uh, to Milton and Boris. And I spoke uh, Milton and Boris. Uh, <laughs> <Nobody> <laughs> answer <okay>. me. <laughs> yeah. It's a practice. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of practice. <laughs> Teacher, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Hello, hello. Good, and you? Fine. Hey, I'm sorry, guys, that I couldn't be here yesterday, okay? Because I was, well, I was not busy. It was only that I didn't have power in my house. So what, there was no electricity. Yeah, that was the problem. So, who connected to the class yesterday? Uh, who connected? Me. <laughs> me. It was Marielos. Priselda, too? I'm sorry, my. Yes. I found it in the platform up to Milton and Boris. Mm, okay, so you found Milton and Boris. Yes, because I I entered um, 8 to 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. I, I was research, uh, viewing the, the platform and and I didn't notice that it was <laughs> later. Okay. So at what time did you dis disconnect it? Hey. No, eight and uh, 15 minutes, I disconnect. Okay. Okay. So you... I, I, I saw the message in the, in the WhatsApp. In the WhatsApp group. Yeah yeah. 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 Yeah, that was what happened. Okay, but good thing we're here today. I have power, electricity, as you can see. <laughs> so now it's easy to teach this class. Okay, guys. Um. Because we had that situation yesterday, we are going to be finishing this module by Friday the 29th, or the 20th, I mean, Thursday the 28th, I believe. Because in the beginning, okay, what was the beginning day for this module? Wait a second. For this module, it was, yeah, the 27th. So we're going to be finishing the 28th, Thursday, 28th, OK? OK. That's, that, that's the ending date because it, it changed because of the of the time that I didn't have. Uh, well, I couldn't teach you yesterday the class. OK, welcome to the class. Thank you for your punctuality. I do really appreciate your punctuality. I will also appreciate if you turn on your cameras because I can see that I'm talking to you, right? And not to someone else. As you know, it's a requirement to have the cameras on. So if you can do it, please do it. I will really appreciate it. Anyhow, we're gonna start with the section two. In this class, we're gonna be starting with the section two. I'm gonna play the intro video. And uh, also we're gonna be talking about the topic describing purpose. That is the topic for today, besides the intro video. Uh, if we have time, we're gonna see the vocabulary in 2.4. It's vocabulary, what it is for success. Right now, you know, uh, I want you to, thank you, Julio, for turning on the camera. Uh, right now, I want you to send the date to the chat, please. Don't forget that we are on April already, April. Okay, send the date, please. You know how to do it. Good evening, teacher. Hello, evening, Griselda. Teacher. I am connected um, for my computer and I don't have a camera in this device. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, Griselda, for letting me know. Okay. Okay, thank you. Good evening, Sirhan. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Uh, your classmates right now are sending the date to the chat. Okay. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> I 
excuse me, teacher. <laughs> Why? It will because you're living I, in the I future. And uh, yeah, yeah. The last no, but you, 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 you. I was in the past, but no, uh, but wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. And today we're you're in Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. Um. Y, um. Guys. Miguel. Today is not Wednesday, Miguel. Teacher. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I don't I, I I can I I can no I I can't use this <laughs> this uh um uh, uh, it's not laptop but <laughs> no puedo usar esto en el chat. <laughs> oh, um, you can go to más or more. Go to options, más or more. No, I don't. You don't see I, it? Don't see the, I don't see the option, only the, the put all cameras or or single cameras no I, I, sorry but uh, i i can uh, i can uh, tell you okay tell me today is um tuesday uh, more, uh up april um five fifth fifth Fifth, 2022. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alex. And remember, guys, like with the pronunciation is April. April. Like the from the R sound, we go to the L sound. So April. Okay, very good. Now, uh, Marielos, again, you send it in Spanish again. Look it there. It's in Spanish again. Could you see it? <laughs> but Alex already read the date. So it's, yes, it's Tuesday, April 5th, 2022. Good. Now, <clears throat> I'm gonna play the first video for you guys. This is the intro video of section two. I want you to pay attention to it. And then we're gonna do some other activities. Oh, and thank you for being here. And thank you for understanding that I couldn't be here yesterday. Ready for our next intro video? Watch it and take notes. Pay attention to the video, take notes if you can, okay? And like, just be ready to share afterwards what you understood. Hi, this is Jacob with Campus TV. Today we're at Choice Cafe on University Drive. I'm talking to the owner, Lily Chen. Choice Cafe opened two years ago. Since then, students have been lining up for coffee and food. Why is Choice Cafe so successful? Let's find out. Thank you for agreeing to speak with me today. Choice Cafe is popular on campus. Yes, the cafe is doing very well. What's the secret to your success? I've been very lucky. And I have great customers. But it is hard. I think there are several reasons we do so well. We're popular because of our location, of course. For a cafe to succeed, it can't be off the beaten path. It needs to be where people can find it. You don't have to walk far. It's convenient, <laughs> right next to campus. But that can't be the only reason. After all, Central Cafe closed last year and it was just one block away from campus. Did Choice put Central Cafe out of business? Yes and no. We were definitely in competition with each other, but Central Cafe didn't have comfortable seats. In order for a cafe to attract customers, it should have comfortable chairs. Our cafe is famous for its cozy atmosphere. Look at those chairs. The people can come here to relax, drink their tea or coffee, and study or read. Do you encourage people to stay a long time? I absolutely do encourage people to stay. I think that's the reason why they keep coming back. They can read, 
do homework, meet their friends. And during this time, they drink two or three cups of coffee and have a pastry. What about the food? Our food is made here, fresh every morning. We have a strong takeout business. People order food to take home or to eat outside. Outside? You mean on the grass, on campus? Anywhere. We do have tables outside too, but people do eat on campus. It's really pretty there. But it's nice to sit inside too. The atmosphere is great here. Talk about that for a minute. The lights, the music? Music is key to a cafe success. You need to make sure you have good music. I'm not an expert. I mean, I don't know much about music. But people who work here are students. They're tuned in. They know what's popular. So I let them choose the music. And people like it. Yes. And since I want to encourage people to meet their friends here, chat, read, so on, I make sure the music's not too loud. I mean, we can hear each other just fine, right? Right. Well, Lily, thank you. I've really enjoyed learning more about what makes Choice a successful cafe. You're welcome, Jacob. Come anytime. For Campus TV, this is Jacob signing off. Okay, did you understand everything said on the video or do you need me to repeat or replay the video one more time? One more time, teacher. Okay. One, yes, one more time. Repeat, teacher. Let's go. Ready for our next intro video? Watch it and take notes. Hi, this is Jacob with Campus TV. Today we're at Choice Cafe on University Drive. I'm talking to the owner, Lily Chen. Choice Cafe opened two years ago. Since then, students have been lining up for coffee and food. Why is Choice Cafe so successful? Let's find out. Thank you for agreeing to speak with me today. Choice Cafe is popular on campus. Yes, the cafe is doing very well. What's the secret to your success? I've been very lucky. And I have great customers. But it is hard. I think there are several reasons we do so well. We're popular because of our location, of course. For a cafe to succeed, it can't be off the beaten path. It needs to be where people can find it. You don't have to walk far. It's convenient, <laughs> right next to campus. But that can't be the only reason. After all, Central Cafe closed last year and it was just one block away from campus. Did Choice put Central Cafe out of business? Yes and no. We were definitely in competition with each other. But Central Cafe didn't have comfortable seats. In order for a cafe to attract customers, it should have comfortable chairs. Our cafe is famous for its cozy atmosphere. Look at those chairs. The people can come here to relax, drink their tea or coffee, and study or read. Do you encourage people to stay a long time? I absolutely do encourage people to stay. I think that's the reason why they keep coming back. They can read, do homework, meet their friends. And during this time, they drink two or three cups of coffee and have a pastry. What about the food? Our food is made here, fresh every morning. We have a strong takeout business. People order food to take home or to eat outside. Outside? You mean on the grass, on campus? Anywhere. We do have tables outside too, but people do eat on campus. It's really pretty there. But it's nice to sit inside too. The atmosphere is great here. Talk about that for a minute. The lights, the music? Music is key to a cafe success. You need to make sure you have good music. I'm not an expert. I mean, I don't know much about music. But people who work here are students. They're tuned in. They know what's popular. So I let them choose the music. And people like it. Yes. And since I want to encourage people to meet their friends here, chat, read, so on, I make sure the music's not too loud. I mean, we can hear each other just fine, right? Right. Well, Lily, thank you. I've really enjoyed learning more about what makes Choice a successful cafe. You're welcome, Jacob. Come anytime. For Campus TV, this is Jacob signing off. Okay, so now, 
did you understand the information in the video? Yep. So so. So so. <laughs> okay. The thing is, they are talking about a cafe that is next to campus. Campus is the university or the college, right? That's campus. Um, it's a success. Success. It's a success, yes. and they are talking why that is a success. Mm -hmm. Some things they mention, it's because it's near or close to the campus. That's one of the uh, most important points. Then they are talking about the seats. They're talking that the seats are comfortable, okay. comfortable, like that, comfortable. See, the seats are comfortable. So the people like to stay longer because they are comfortable, they can speak with their friends and stuff like that. The other point they talk about is that is um, the food. The food is fresh and it's prepared there in the cafe. It's not like they bought the food and they resell it. They prepare it there, they make the, they make, they make the food there and people like it. So, um, com a combination of all those points is the success for the cafe. Now, what I want you to do is to go, like you to speak, right? It's not only me, the one who has to speak. So I'm gonna send you to a record rooms and I want you to talk. This is your time to talk. I don't want anybody like with the camera off, the microphone off, everything off, like you're a ghost. You're not a ghost, right? You're a real person learning real language. So you have to practice. I want you to speak to your classmates and say, what do you think is one of the most important things for a cafe to have success? And I want you to discuss many, maybe some experiences that you had in a cafe, so a cafe that you like, a cafe. And again, the cafe is in Spanish. It's a Spanish word, cafe. Cafe in English is coffee, but the place where you go to drink coffee in the United States is called a cafe. Like a cyber cafe here, remember back in time when internet was starting, right? The cyber mm -hmm. cafe, almost cyber, like, yeah. So now a cafe is a place where people go and they have coffee. Um, they have, well, there are different kind of food there, but the main thing is coffee. Okay, and I want you to share experiences about like going to cafes, to different cafes. And if you like one experience or you didn't like one experience, for example, I can share one with you right now. Here in Sultan, there are different cafes. There was one that was the very, 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 very first one. But now when I go there, I feel like it's, everything is so synthetic and the flavors are eh, just flavors like frozen cafe, like, I don't like coffee, frozen coffee, and I don't like it. But there's an, there was another cafe that was not that famous, but the coffee was really good. And the desserts were really good. And it was not full. It was like empty almost all the time. And they closed because of the pandemic and they never reopened again. So eh, it's sad, but yeah. That's my experience with cafe. Oh, and, and I think it was good also because they had comfortable seats. They had they had sofas and the food was really good. And there was, <laughs> they had air conditioner because here in Usulutan, you cannot leave. Like this is, <laughs> it's not a lux luxury. Air conditioner in, in Usulutan <laughs> is not a luxury, it's a necessity, like a big necessity. Okay. So we're gonna talk about the video. What do you think is important for a cafe to have um, success? And then share your experiences with going to different cafes, okay? Do you understand the activity? Is it clear? Yes. Yep, perfect. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Join the breakout rooms, please.
and yes yes it's in the in the yeah. cafe snake yeah uh, is a, a practice with my grandmother. Okay. In uh, Sulutan, ooh, uh, thirty-five years old. Is, wow. Yes, yes, I, I <laughs> with my grandmother. Uh, is because uh, the coffee is my grandmother is a uh, drink. Uh, only uh, I don't. Uh, don't take uh, taking sugar because uh, she has diabetes. Is ah, diabetes. I see, I, yes. Di diabetes. 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 Thanks, teacher. Thanks, thanks teacher. Diabetes is uh, forty years old. Is I am. Children uh, but. Uh, I think I, I, I love the coffee. And, and mix up, mix up, mix it up with another flavor that I don't like. Only that <laughs> coffee. Wow. Espresso, espresso is, is like, but for me, it's, it's, uh, it's a little, and it's a little cup and don't, um, an espresso is a very strong coffee. An espresso is like a coffee shot. <laughs> a coffee shot, but it's, it's muy poquito. It's too little. <laughs> it's a little. And, and then I I want a drink. Of... No. Yeah. <laughs> also, the coffee, I think... Um, it's very important. Uh, is a hat. Ah, yes, the temperature. Yes, <laughs> so do I. Yes, the coffee is, is have to be hot because it's not hot. It's not coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and for me, sometimes is. I like to drink coffee with a uh, uh, cremora, a uh, cream, I think that. Do with you say cream. cream. With cream or milk. But especially drink coffee, uh, co I, iced coffee. No. I mean, uh, like a milkshake. Yeah, I know. Or we like a, a frozen.
Hello, hello. Okay, now, hello. in the breaker rooms, I heard different opinions about coffee, which it's pretty interesting because many people were talking about, um, so we like coffee, but really, really pure coffee, right? Like I like a shot of espresso or two espressos and that's my type of coffee. Some people like it like that. Then uh, there were other people saying that they like coffees, but they like it with like frozen coffees and with flavors and with whipped cream and with cream and sugar and a lot of things. So I heard very different opinions in the break rooms about coffee. I like coffee, but now I don't know. I don't like a strong coffee because for me, it's bad. It's it's really bad for me. Like I don't like it. It, it hurts my my stomach, and I have like acids if I drink really pure coffee. So in my case is that. Okay, now let's go to the grammar topic. We're gonna describe purpose. Describing purpose is to mention something like to improve your business, you need to do this. In order to have success, you need to do that. Uh, for a great um, coffee shop, you need to, something like that. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today. Purpose, describing purpose. I'm gonna play a quick video for you so we can understand what I'm talking about. And then we're gonna make some sentences. To be fluent in English, you need to keep up with. <laughs> no, 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 sorry. It's because I was watching the video. No, I'm sorry. It's because when I watch the video for the class, I fast beat it. <laughs> I don't like it to be like, yeah. Sorry, I'm sorry. No, don't worry. <laughs> it's not like that. <laughs> Hi. For you to be fluent in English, you need to keep up with all the lessons. So stay and learn how to describe purpose using infinitive clauses. Describing purpose. Infinitive clauses. To run a popular internet cafe, it's a good idea to have late opening hours. To establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. In order to establish a trendy restaurant, it's important to have fashionable servers. Infinitive clauses with four. For an athletic center to be profitable, it needs to have modern exercise equipment. For a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. In order for a shopping mall to succeed, it has to have a convenient location. To describe purpose, we may do so by using different types of infinitive clauses. We may use the infinitive clause, to plus verb. For example, to succeed in business, you have to. Notice we began our sentence using to, followed by the verb succeed. Or we may use in order plus infinitive. Example, in order to succeed in business, you have to. We may add in order, but it's optional. If we omit it, the structure stays the same. The other way to describe purpose is by using infinitive clause with for. For plus noun plus infinitive. For a business to succeed, it has to. Or in order plus for plus noun plus infinitive. In order for a business to succeed, it has to. Again, we may use in order, but it is optional. The structure stays the same if we omit it. So the different ways we have to we have there to describe it's for example the first one is infinitives remember that infinitives is to plus the verb in the base form for example to learn english you need to practice but to learn english you need to um i don't know learn grammar <clears throat> in this case we're using the infinitive to talk about purpose. Then we have the word in order 
in order. It's not necessary, but it's like complementary for the imperative. For example, I can say, in order to learn English, you need to practice. You get it? Like it doesn't change the structure if I use it or not, but it's a complement for it and it sounds better. Yeah, if I say, um, to succeed in business, you need to have a plan. It's better or it sounds different if I say, in order to succeed in business, you need to have a plan. So it doesn't change the structure if it is there or if it is not, but you can say it. it's optional. Let's continue. I'm gonna play again here. Purpose, we may do so by using different types types of infinitive, of infinitive clauses. clauses. We may use the infinitive clause to plus verb. For example, to succeed in business. To succeed in business, you have to. This is the verb succeed, then to, to succeed in business. In the beginning, I can add, or at the beginning, I can add to in order to succeed in business. Doesn't change the Next, meaning. You have to. Notice we began our sentence using to, followed by the verb succeed. Or we may use in order plus <clears throat> infinitive. Example, in order to succeed in business, you have to. We may add in order, but it's optional. If we omit it, the structure stays the same. The other way to describe purpose is by using infinitive clause with for. For plus noun plus infinitive. For a business to succeed. In this case, we're using for and then we're going to describe a noun. It's not that we are going to um, use the verb or the infinitive after word, right after words. So you have to uh, say a noun, for example, for a student to learn English. Okay, you, you get it? For a student to learn English, you need a noun. It has to, or in order, plus for, plus noun, plus infinitive. In order for a business to succeed, it has to. Again, we may use in order, but it is optional. The structure stays the same. If we again here with the for at the beginning, we can also add in order. So for a business to, to succeed, that's a, a four class right here. But if we can add in order to make it more like formal, in order for a business to succeed, it has to. We omit it. Now, let's see the situation here. For it to stay popular, what three things should be done? Okay, so you see here in this picture, two, uh, like this is the same restaurant or the cafe. This is a cafe right here. In this cafe, what do you think it's important to change or needs to be done for this business to succeed? Right now, we can see different things. The first one is, this is dirty. The plates are on the table. 30. Then the person who is selling, the sales clerk, this is the name of the people who sell, sales clerk is reading a book. Well, this was maybe in the past. Now they are watching TikToks. <laughs> and this is a big line right here. You see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine mad angry customers. So what I need you to do right now is to tell me. What three things do you consider should be done using the structure to improve this business? Take a screenshot if you want. Wait a minute. I'm going to do something and I'm going to be really quick. But take a screenshot and we're going to talk about three things that need to be done in this business. Okay, now we're gonna go to the breakout rooms and we're gonna make the statements. You're gonna make three statements about the things that need to be done in this cafe to have succeed because as, as you can see right now, it's a mess. It's a complete mess. Do you get the activity or not? 
Yeah. Yeah. Can you yes. repeat, please? We're going to look at the picture that I was sharing. Okay. And you're going to tell me what do you think needs to be improved? Done. Okay. So the business uh, will have success because right now it's a complete mess. Okay. Yeah. Do we get it? Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's go. Griselda, join the breakout room.
what another no i think that they can improve the limpieza so uh, they can improve to clean the 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 place to, to be more in order to be put to put the things in order the room the room the owner Mm -hmm. the, the owner shall be a more uh, compliant, mm -hmm. clean, a clean mm -hmm. client. Yes. What, what else? Mm -hmm. To serve, to serve, to serve fast food. They more tables, yes, more tables. Mm -hmm. That's good. Okay, okay, <clears throat> teacher. Yeah, tell me. Please mm -hmm. remember to ask the, <laughs> the, 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 um, the form for the sentence, please. Oh, you want me to remind you the form? So infinitives yes. to yes, be, to be more uh, to be more clean. Uh, in order to be more more clean, they need to remove the plates from the tables, or to to be to have more clients, to have more happy clients, maybe to have. Remember to plus verb to have more or happier. I mean. To have happier clients, to have happier clients, they need to take care of them. Necesitan cuidarlos, they need to take care of them. Or to have happier clients, they need to start, or they need to stop reading the book when they are working. Okay. okay. And you can use only the infinitive, or you can use for the business to have happy clients, or even you can say in order, in order for the business to have happy clients. Ah. <clears throat> okay. Okay, another one. And um, for uh, to succeed for a business, they have to um, to get more personal. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, another one. Ah, oh, just you uh, said that uh, for success, no for. To succeed for the business, they have to to fire the cashier. <laughs> cashier, I don't know. Yeah. Yes. To succeed, to succeed for a business, a uh, time control for client in the client. table. Client in the table.
¿Por qué será que volvemos tan rápido siempre? I don't know what is the reason. Okay, guys. Um, I went to the break rooms and I heard some, some of the examples. I still think that you need to, so we need to go back uh, on the topic again because uh, maybe some things weren't clear enough. So we're going to practice a little bit more about it tomorrow and a new topic, okay? Thank you for being here and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully I will have power. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.